This is level L, list one, and we're doing the day one page. So we're looking mainly today at why these words are spelled the way they are and their different meanings. So let's get some highlighters out. And we're going to highlight, first of all, we've got the or sound double O-R in these words, poor, door and floor. Then we've got the er sound, E-A-R in early, earth and hurt. Then we've got the, oh, and learn, sorry. Highlight each of those. Then we've got the uff sound as in rough, tough and enough. Okay, so poor, uh, let's have a look at what we've got happening in that word. We've got the double O-R, double O-R, double O-R, so that is an R controlled vowel. This one is two, the er, E-A-R, forms a R controlled vowel. Here you've got the O-U-G-H. We've talked about this before, that we have six different sounds that the O-U-G-H can make. So this is another new one now where we're doing the uff sound. There's not a lot of words with any of um, the O-U-G-H in them, so with each of the sounds. So uff, these are the only three we could really find that you would use with O-U-G-H for the uff sound. Now, um, with these R control vowels, this is the OR sound, this is the ER sound. So the OR sound here, you also have POR spelt differently with the O-U-R, which means um, pour a glass of milk or something like that. You've also got POR with the A-W as in the dog or the cat's paw. So there are 11 different ways of writing the OR sound. So this is one, this is another, this is another. So we use different spellings to show that the word, to make the meaning more obvious to the reader and make it easier for the writer to project their meaning. So pour as in pour water. This one as in a dog or cat's pour. This pour could mean that you, you are poor, you don't have a lot of money or that you don't feel all that well, you feel poorly. Um, door is usually an opening to another room or another space. It's quite easy. A floor could be the um, floor of a building or the ground that you're on. It's usually a made floor, a made surface beneath us. Now you could also have a floor like this, which is the AW for the OR sound, but that floor means um, there's a problem with, so uh, a mistake in something. Now early just means that you're, um, it's early in the day, it's new in the day, um, it's at the beginning. Earth is a planet um, and we live on the earth, so it's the name of our planet. Heard, you can see the little word ear in there and you can see the little word hear in there. So it means the sounds that we have heard that we can hear without ear. Now usually we put ED to show past tense of a verb but we don't say heard. I heard you, we say I heard you. So it's an irregular verb because we're not doing that usual pattern of adding the ED to the end. Um, so learn is when you um, maybe go to school and the teacher teaches thing, you things your friends and your family can also teach you things. So when you're learning something, it means you're adding new information to your brain and your body. Okay, rough. This rough here means a, an uneven surface. So you could, if you felt a, a rock wall, you'd feel that it's quite rough. And even like a man's beard could feel a bit rough too, if you touched it with your hands. Tough means that um, something is um, unbreakable or it's very strong. Um, sometimes when people get angry and they act tough to scare other people. Um, but tough, you could have tough, um, something that's tough in a material too. You could even have tough meat. Enough means that you've had enough, perhaps you're exhausted, you don't want to do any more at all or you have enough money or you have enough food, 
means you have sufficient of it. Now let's go back and um, read the words, sound the words and spell the words three times before we write them three times. So we're going to go poor, put or, put or, put or, P-O-O-R, P-O-O-R, P-O-O-R. Cover it, write it three times. Try and get your letters on the line. And then when you finish, check that you've spelt it correctly. Um, and if you've made an error, make sure you rub it out and start again. Now it's very important that you do sound the words because in these you're only hearing two sounds. It's also very important that you spell the words because those two sounds are represented by four letters. So if you don't spell the words as, as well, you may leave out a letter. And writing them as well helps your brain to remember them. This is level L, list one, and we're doing the day two, and our words are poor, door, floor. So you can see the double O-R in those words is making the or sound, so it's one of the 11 ways we can write the or sound. Then we've got early, earth, heard, learn. So this is another R control vowel, where we have the E and the R, A with the R, so two vowels with the R to make the, the er sound there. And then we've got rough, tough, enough. And this is the O-U-G-H, making one of its six different sounds that it can make. So we're starting to work into those. So um, you can highlight the O-U-G-H in that. So G-H can make, um, may make the sound in some words as well. Okay, let's have a look at um, what these words mean. Poor means that you don't have a lot of money. A door is an opening to another room or a cupboard. Um, the floor is the thing under our feet that we walk on in a building. Um, early means before the time, before time. Earth is the planet we live on. Heard is when you hear something. Learn is when you're taught something and you remember it. Um, rough means an uneven surface. Um, tough means that something might be very strong. Enough means um, you're full or you've you've had enough you've you've got sufficient of that so we have to read the words sound the words spell the words and write them so get you a little bit of paper to cover them with and we've got put or put or p-o-o-r p-o-o-r cover it and write it you can do the rest of those on your own now down here it says write a list word that means so we're looking at the meanings of these um, words here you have to match the word to its meaning so use these words up here to finish these um, homophones now these words sound the same but they're spelt differently and they mean something different so we've got pour the first pour means when you pour a liquid from one container to another or it could even be something like sand um, this one means where someone f doesn't feel very well, poor, or they don't have much money. This poor means the foot of a dog or a cat or another animal. Um, this poor is the little pores that we have in our skin, very minute little holes in our skin. Herd is where we can hear something with our ears, whereas this herd means a group of animals, such as a herd of cattle. Um, so the something dog had a block something in his something and it got infected. So you can work out what the missing words are there from these selected ones here. Um, opposites, sometimes we call them antonyms, um, they mean the same thing. Um, the opposite of rich is, and you have to find a list word to fill that in, they're quite easy for you. Finish the idioms, it's never too late to... Mm, Come down to mm, one's mm, is always open, have not mm, the half of it. So you might need to discuss these within your group um, to work out what, how we end them off um, and then write those answers in. This is level L, list one, day three, and we're looking at the 
double OR for an OR sound, the EAR for the ER sound, and the OUGH for the UF sound. So let's go through and highlight them. We've got paw, or de or door, or or floor. Then change colours. And we've got early, early, earth, earth, uh, heard, heard, or, uh, mm. So we're using the E A R as an R controlled vowel for the er uh sound. Then in rough, tough, and enough, we've got the O U G H. So this is a sound that the o, one of the six sounds that O U G H can make. And there's not a lot of words for any of the, the six different sounds that it does make. Okay, so you know poor means someone who doesn't have a lot of money or they're not feeling well. A door is an opening to a room. A floor is that surface that we walk upon in a room or a building. Early means before time. Earth is the planet we live on. Heard is when you hear something with your ear. To learn is when you're taught something and you remember it. Rough means an uneven surface. Tough means when something's hard to do or um, just hard. And enough means you've had um, your fill of something. So down here we're looking at verb family. So you know when you do a verb family, you're following the pattern of adding the S, then the ing, and then the past tense ed. So you'd have hear, hears, hearing. Now you don't say I heard you. You know from the list words that you're going to write heard. So this is an irregular verb. It doesn't follow the pattern of adding the ed. So you're just going to put the d without the e, as you can see here. So then we go base word of learns and learned is learn, learns, learning, learned. Now how do you know whether to write learned or learnt? So learned or learnt, we put a little um, bit of uh, explanation in here for you. So when we have E sounding words may use a T for the past tense of a verb. So you can have sweep, swept, weep, wept, sleep, slept, creep, crept, leap, leapt, feel, felt, deal, dealt. So T is used when any participle is used. So you would say I spelled the words, but if you say I have, say I have spelt the word. It was, it was spelt correctly. It may have been spelt incorrectly. I learned the poem, there's no participle there. I have learnt the poem, it was easily learnt. So it has to have a participle before the, the word for so that you know whether you use, to use the T or the ED. Now down here we're doing comparatives and superlatives. So when you compare two things, we to make it say more, we add er. So we'd have poor, poor er, early, earlier, tough, tough er. So we're adding the er here. Now if you have a consonant before the y, like in early, then you know you have to change the y to an i before you add the er. So in this one, we're, to make these words mean the most of something, we usually add EST to the end of the word. So we'd have poorest, earliest, toughest. Now once again, because you have a Y at the end of early and there's a consonant before it, you must change the Y to an I before you add that EST. Now down here it says combine with the list word. So you would have to find a word that would go with worm. So probably it would be earthworm. You can do the other ones on your own. Singular, plural, we're talking about nouns here. So you could have one door or a hallway of doors, one floor or a lot of floors. So typically when we're adding, forming a plural, we're going to add S or ES to the end of the word. If you hear S, you're just going to write the S. Write the correct word, pouring. So this pouring, first pouring means um, of a liquid. Um, so you could be pouring milk or it could be um, 
pouring rain or something like that. This pouring means when you're looking at something for a long time. So you're pouring over a book or pouring over some work. So don't get tricked. These are homophones, so they um, sound the same. They're spelt differently because they mean different things. So you'll have to work those out. If you have trouble, talk about them in your group. This is level L, list one, and we're doing the day four page, and we've got some revision of sounds that you've already learned. So these are the OR sounds that you've already learnt, and the different letters that represent it, and down the bottom we've got some ER sounds that you've already learnt. So we're doing a lot of revision today. So let's go through, we've got the OR, AW, AR, OAR, OU, double OR, and the AL. So there are 11 all sounds all together that you're going to have to learn. So we're over halfway, we've got seven here. So first of all, you have to go through and finish off these words up the top. So the or sound in enforce will be O-R, the or sound in raw will be O-A-R, and the or sound in floor will be double O-R. The or sound in brought will be the O-U. Then you have to write them under the phonogram down here. So enforce would go there. Um, raw would go under the O-A-R. Floor would go under the double O-R. And you can go through and finish those off there. You might even find it handy to go through and highlight the O-R words. Um, one colour, the O-A-R, a different colour, and then write them all down if that, if that makes it simpler for you. Okay, down the bottom we've got to fill in the blanks here with the er sounds. So whenever you put a vowel with an R, it becomes an R controlled vowel and they all make long vowel sounds. So we've got er, 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 er and er. So here we're introducing where we've got two vowels with an R to make an er sound. So firm would be the ER. Um, dirty would be the IR, worm would be the OR, and person would once again would be the ER. Then you have to write them under the phonogram down the bottom. And if you want to, you can highlight the different phonograms, different colours to make that copying exercise, exercise a little easier.